Let's say we're asked to simplify 7a cubed times the quantity 2a to the fourth, all raised to the third power. And we're asked in this problem to write our answers with only negative exponents. So we start by rewriting the problem and then recognize that nothing by itself can be simplified, especially within the parentheses. The 2a to the fourth, none of these terms can be multiplied together. So we start by expanding out the parentheses by using the product to a power rule. That allows us to apply the third power to both 2 and a to the fourth. At this stage, we can simplify 2 to the third to 8, a to the fourth raised to the third power, because we have a power raised to another power, we would multiply the two of them. So that would give us a to the twelfth. At this stage, we can rearrange the terms so that like terms go next to each other. 7 times 8 can be grouped at the beginning, and then a cubed and a to the twelfth can be given their own spot. 7 times 8 will give us 56, and a cubed times a to the twelfth will give us a to the fifteenth. When bases are same and we're multiplying, we add the exponents by the product rule. Now at this stage, these two terms cannot be combined. However, we're not done with the question yet. The problem gave us explicit instructions to write our answers with only negative exponents. We can use the negative power rule to move the 56 and the a to the 15th to the denominator. And when we do, we're going to have a one left in the numerator. The 56 had a power of one here, so when we move the 56 to the denominator, the one power turns into a negative one. a to the 15th, when it moves to the denominator, the 15 power turns into a negative 15. Now at this stage, we can see that all the terms have negative exponents.